Hello everyone, this is Mom Jams. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss and we will learn kung paano po makagawa ng electronic ballot natin using, of course, Google Forms. Okay, are we ready? So let's start now. So dapat nakapasok na kayo sa Google ninyo and makikita ninyo dito po may mga dots, Google Apps. Click that one and look for the forms. And this one po, purple po ang icons niya, na parang paper na nakafold sa upper right. Click that one. So, i-click po natin ang blank quiz. Okay. So, now we will put here the title. So, lagyan po natin siya ng electronic ballot. Pwede po ninyo lagyan ng ang section ninyo. For example, 8, Courage, Class Officers, Class Officers, Andal. School Year 21-22. Okay. So, i-click nyo lang po ito na side. Para mapareho po sila. Or you can copy that one and paste it here. Ayan na po. And dito po, pwede po tayong maglagay ng instruction. For example, please cast your vote. Select one in every position. Pero ang sa akin po, para ma-monitor po ang mga students ko, I have 38 students, para ma-monitor ko sila, gusto ko lagyan ng pangalan. Uh, makikita po natin dito, pag i-click po natin, we will click this one, may makikita po tayong mga options. So, for that name, we can use the short answer. And we can write first name ng bata para magaya po nila ang format natin. Middle, middle initial, and the surname. And wag po natin kalimutan, this is very important. We will click this one, required. Okay? And para po sa magiging next ano natin, um, question natin, we will add this, we will click this cross uh, icon here. Add Question. So, this one po. Okay? So, I will choose the multiple choice para malagay ko po maraming choices. But in my case, I want all my students, kasi wala po tayong process na ginawa na mag-votation, nag-vote ng mga nominees. So, we use this um, way of voting po sa electronic using the um, Google form is we can give a chance to all our students na ma-vote sila in every position. Unlike yung traditional natin, since we are in our new normal right now, so pwede natin ilagay lahat ng students natin dito. If I have 38, ilalagay ko yung 38 students ko in every position, from president to muse. Paano ko natin gagawin yan? Ma'am, mag-ulit-ulit tayo, kakapoy, mag-copy-paste. No, there's a way na madali lang po. So we will start, of course, with president position. Or, lagay na lang natin ng class president para mas... So, class president. So, para mas madali po, punta po tayo sa list natin. So, ito pong gagawin natin, ma'am and sir, no? Para mas madali, hindi tayo uulit ng copy-paste, copy-paste. So, one time lang po tayo mag-copy-paste sa ating list. So, this is my list po of my student section Courage, grade 8. So, I have two highlight, copy, go back to your form, and just paste this one. Right-click and paste. So, ayan na po hanggang sa number 22. Now, for the next, balik na naman sa list mo, sa girls ka na naman. Copy, balik doon, and paste. So, ayan na po. So, erase lang po natin to. So, ayan na po yung choices niyo. Ayan na po lahat ng students niyo for class president. So, pipili lang po sila dyan by 
clicking the um, circles here. And again, do not forget to click this one. So after clicking that one, so meaning of that, kailangan nila required to vote for this section or for this part, which is the last president. Okay? So paano natin gagawin ang next? Ito pa rin po ba, Ma'am Jem, para mag-create ng another question and mag-paste na naman tayo dito? No. Mas, may mas easier, easier way po. Using this icon, duplicate. Ayan na po, giduplicate na po niya. And all you have to do, naka-required na rin po siya, all you have to do is to edit this part. So, right, vice, class vice president. Okay, sa second na po tayo, another duplicate. Class secretary. This is the third one. Fourth position is class treasurer. Fifth position. Hindi po ako gumagamit ng add question ha. Nag ginagamit po natin na feature of the Google Form is the duplication. This one. So duplicate, duplicated na rin yung required. And the fifth position is um, PIO. Ah, auditor muna. Auditor. Next position is PIO. Depende po yan sa mga um, ano po ninyo ha, mga position na kailangan po sa school ninyo or organization. Duplicate again. PIO, business manager. And let's duplicate again. Um, we have ano po kasi, peace officer. Duplicate again. Now, let's have the Prince Charming. And the last one is Muse. Alright, so ayan na po. Kompleto na po tayo. So, one Muse, Prince Charming, Peace Officer, Business manager, meaning of that asterisk po dyan is required. Kailangan nilang uh, mag-answer. PIO, class auditor, class treasurer, class secretary, class vice president, and class president. So, we are almost done. Now, if you wanted to, um, ayaw nyo po ng purple, gusto nyo po ng another color. So, you can use this customized theme here. So, for example, gusto nyo ng blue. Pwede nyo i-change ng blue. Ang background ninyo is this one. Pwede nyo i-change po. And if you wanted to change the font, because you don't like the font, you may use the formal. Or you may use the playful. Or this one. Okay? And kung gusto nyo po ng banner or may title po siya dyan sa taas dito po, pwede din po. Pili, header po ang tawag natin. Pili lang po tayo. Choose image. Please click, please click this one. Okay. So, they have some free banner or header here. You can choose from it. Or, if you want to have your own, kasi gumawa po kayo, tulad ko po, in, in case gusto nyo po, yan. So, ito po ginawa ko para at least, ano naman, um, na personalize ko sa section ko talaga. Okay? So, you have, all you have to do is you just um, place it properly. If it is okay for you, place it well, and then click done. Tingnan po natin. So, ayan na po. Ayan na po yung ballot box natin. Okay? Or our electronic ballot. So, after that, before natin masend sa ating mga students, so, we will set it po muna. Si set po natin. So, this one, we will not set it as, as a quiz. So, the response is, send a uh, collect, hindi na po. So, this one, wag niyo po kalimutan na i-deactivate po ninyo yan. Para kung hindi po 
uh, DepEd ang ano ng bata, pwede po siya maka, maka-vote po. So, lim- limit in one respond, pa isang beses lang po sila. Okay, wala dito po, wala na po. Pwede din po ninyo ipa-view sa kanila ang result if you want. And then, that's it. So, if tapos na po, isesend na po natin sa mga bata via messenger. Okay? So, in sending this one po, pwede po natin via email. But for me, I will choose the uh, URL or the link. I will send it through messenger kasi may GC po ako sa aking section. Okay? I-copy lang po natin. Pwede din po siya dito diretso sa Facebook. Ninyo i-share or sa Twitter. So, I will just copy. I will send it to my sample to myself sa iba kong account. I-test po natin. Ito yung personal account ko. We will send it there. Ayan na po. So, i-try po natin open yan po, ha? Mga ma'am and sir, if tama po siya. So, for example, isa, isa po ako sa student. Ito po i-send sa akin ni Ma'am Morales. So, ito na po yung itsura ng ating balot. Electronic balot. So, as a student, mag um, vote na po ako. So, for example, mag-vote ako sa president or ilagay ko muna ang aking pangalan. Um, Gemma G. Gemma G. Morales. And then, I will vote for President uh, si Hero, Vice President si Vigil, Secretary si uh, Kalape, for Treasurer Into. And for Auditor naman po, pipiliin ko si Banzon. And for our class, PIO, I will choose Kasila. And the next one is the class Print a Peace Officer. I will choose Alito. And for the Prince Charming, I will choose Ramos. And the last one, but not the least, the class News, I will choose hmm, Vigil. That's it. Okay, so meaning tapos na po lahat, nakavote sa lahat ng positions. So all you have to do is to click. Ito po yung sign na tapos na po tayo nakaboto. So may nakasulat po dyan na your response has been recorded. So depende na po yan sa inyo teacher if you want them to screenshot this and lagyan ng pangalan nila para proof po ninyo. Well anyway, kahit wala pong proof, may tally sheet naman po tayong makikita. Ang tally sheet po, dito po natin makikita. For example, if you want to tally na kasi umabot na yung sa time na binigay mo, so kailangan mo na ng results. So, all you have to do is you have to go back to your um, Google form by clicking the Google Apps again. to mga dots dito sa upper right. And then, look for the icon, the purple paper. Just click it para makapasok po kayo sa Google Form natin. And look for the file. Ayan po, remember, nagboto po ako. Tingnan po natin kung nag-effect po yung biboto ko. So, tingnan natin kung may mga responses na. And ayan po, makikita po natin na ayan na po yung response ko. Tingnan po natin ha. Ayan, makikita natin color blue kasi yung change po natin yung color. So, eto na po yun. Ayan, may response na po. So, meaning yan po yung response. So, paano po natin yan makikita? So, if you click response or responses, makikita po niyo itong pie graph dito na ginawa ni Google Form. So, pag marami na po yung nakavote dyan, marami na po yung mag-reflect dyan. And the questions are there as well. If you want to see the individual ballot of the individual students, makikita din po niyo kung sino yung na-vote nila. But, However, we want the tally. So, we have to create our um, spreadsheet. So, this one is the spreadsheet. So, yan. Dito po natin makikita ang tally natin po, mga sir and ma'am. So, lahat po ng buboto dyan, 
magre-reflect po dyan automatic. Ilalagay po dyan automatic ni Google Form. So, andyan po yung lahat ng mga position ng pinoto ko. For example, hanggang kay Muse. So, ayan po, vigil, tama po lahat. So, hindi po pwede napalitan. So, automatic po lahat ng mga vote ng mga students natin magre-reflect po dyan. So, this is the example of my actual ballot, electronic ballot for my section. Ito po yung ginawa ko po talaga. So, my 14 students na po ako, ika-15 po ako na nag-vote. So, I gave them the time until mga one and a half or two days po ang binigay ko sa kanila. So, I will just uh, stop accepting um, votes pag dumating na po yung sa time po na binigay ko sa kanila. So, my dear colleagues, Ang last step po natin is i-save po natin ang ating spreadsheet. So, we have to go to File and then save it as Microsoft Excel. So, ito na po. So, open lang po natin siya after ma-download. And after that, ayan na po. Excel na form or file na po ito siya. So, if you wanted to print it, ilagay nyo po sa, i-layout nyo po sa landscape para ma-print po lahat. Or, if you want to send it to your students na soft copy po para makita nila ang official result ng ating election. Kung sino po talaga yung nanalo in every position natin po. So, ayan po. Sinabi ko po kanina earlier na it is a big factor po as teacher and as advisor that we will give a very clear and concise instruction to our students, especially in voting. So, paano po natin to magbibigay sa ating um, klase. We can give them instructions through audio like this one po. Oh. Binibigyan ko po sila ng instruction at this uh, file na gisend ko sila mga apat na instruction. So, ganyan po. So, ma'am and sir, pakinggan po natin yung binigay ko na instruction sa kanya, particularly sa deadline po ng ating voting. So, ito po yung instruction ko. Pakinggan po natin. Hello, my dear students. Additional information. So, I want to emphasize that our deadline of voting will be tomorrow at 6 p.m. So, meaning of that, at 6.01 p.m., you cannot vote anymore because I will be, what, turn off the responses of this electronic ballot. So, meaning of that, you can no longer vote for this Google form, for this electronic ballot. So, please follow instruction. Thank you so much, my dear students. I'll see you all tomorrow for our online class and for the result of our election. I know that you are excited. God bless all and bye! How do we turn off code? Um, the responses or accepting responses in our electronic ballot po. Ganito lang po ang gagawin natin ma mga ma'am and sir. Punta po tayo sa ating electronic ballot. Pasok po tayo ulit using the Google Apps and then puntahan po natin yung file natin. Ballot mismo. Ito po. And then makikita po ninyo itong yan. When you click that one, nakikita po natin not accepting responses anymore. So, yung binigay nyo po na time sa mga bata. So, be firm po sa time na binigay ninyo and click that button para po hindi na po sila makavote. Para naman din po consistent and para sabihin din po ng mga bata na you, you really mean what you are saying to them, the instruction that you are giving them. Okay? And that is the end of our tutorial, my dear colleagues. I hope useful po sa ating lahat ang tutorial video na ito on how to conduct online election using electronic ballot. Of course, gamit lamang po ang Google Forms. So this is Mom Gems at your service. If you think useful po itong content natin, please like and share po sa mga kasamahan natin upang may matutunan din naman po sila. So once again, stay blessed everyone and bye!